So we're continuing our discussion on how to force a parent grid to uh, refresh when uh, something happens in the uh, child grid. So, uh, and we're discussing now how this this placeholder here called underbar underbar grid object gets replaced when this event executes. So you can see here that the E object has passed into it something called the grid definition, E dot grid definition. And inside uh, E dot grid definition is a property called component name, which is the alias of, of this grid. Um, and then the grid object itself would be is always the alias of the grid followed by underbar grid OBJ. So um, this um, um, command over here replaces the placeholder with the real alias of the grid and then you can see the comment over here that says that if you want to send JavaScript back to the browser you make an entry in this array over here so e.rtc.a underbar ajax responses is an array of JavaScript commands that you want to send back to the browser when this command finishes executing so you can see here we've uh, uh, got a pointer. Uh, AA is just a pointer to that array and then we um, add a new entry to the array using this the XBasic syntax uh, with a square bracket with no uh, array index means add a new entry to the array and then dot dot means basically add a new property to uh, the array uh, for the same um, array number that you just added over here. So let's go ahead now and run this, but what I'm going to do is put a debug one over here so we can actually watch this code uh, executing. So that's uh, saving the invoices grid. Let's go back now to the customer grid and uh, rerun it. And go here and change that to say Sailor 2 and then click the uh, submit button. So now the debugger opens up and you can see we're inside the uh, after update record event and we've just finished um, adding a new value to uh, an updated value to the ship country field over there and now we basically have got a, a string called JS so you can see there we have a string called JS and it's got that placeholder over there and now we're gonna go and uh, replace that placeholder with um, with the real alias of the grid. So you can see there that e.griddefinition.component name was um, that value over there uh, and then we've added on underbar grid object and now we've basically added a new entry to the array uh, over here um, uh, with a value of JS. So let's go ahead now and run it and uh, you can see there's the updated value. So if we actually just go back to invoices and remove the debug one statement there we'll see it all happening uh, more easily. So let's go back there, uh, go there, so there's the current value there WLEE, -E. go there and make that uh, Sailor 3 and then uh, submit that and now you can see there the parent grid uh, was updated. So this uh, um, a series of videos has shown you how you can uh, on an XBasic um, event over here force a parent grid to refresh when something happens in the child grid. Hope you found that useful. Thank you.